A sad update to pass along to you this evening. The family of a pregnant woman who was shot and killed in a Jacksonville apartment complex is tonight mourning the death of her infant daughter who initially survived the shooting. The tough decision by Ayanna McGraw's family was made Sunday, three months after her death. It is the latest tragic outcome for this family who says the baby had some breathing complications. On your side, Robert Bradfield has talked with McGraw's aunt about that really hard decision and also Still, her efforts to find those who killed her niece, Robert. Yeah, here tonight, Ayanna McGraw's aunt does have some pretty strong words for those who may know something about this case but have not come forward yet. However, she also tells me today that she is thankful for those who have prayed for Ayanna's daughter to get better. People here on Earth can hide things from us here on Earth, but they cannot hide. God. Ayanna McGraw's aunt Gloria McGraw leaning on a higher power. Three months after her niece's shooting death, the family is still waiting on any break in the case, which has taken another sad turn. Ayanna's child, Milan, who was delivered after her mother was shot, was removed from a breathing machine on Sunday. She had a lot of breathing difficulties. She could not breathe without the machine. McGraw says Milan stayed in the hospital. There were complications from the start. Her lungs wasn't strong enough and it was just a lack of oxygen. No bullets or anything hit her. It was just a lack of oxygen. Iona's family says she had no enemies. She was planning to enroll in classes at Spelman College after giving birth, but she was killed inside an Arlington apartment complex four days before her due date. Take Ayana and Milan out of the equation and put their own biological daughter or son or grandchild in the equation, what would they do? They would want justice. Her family focusing on getting justice. Her cousin telling us they will forever be loved and we will always cherish their memories. We're praying for justice to be served. Milan and Ayana deserve justice and we will not give up until justice is fully served. Give them justice. Let their soul rest in peace and give us closure as well. Now the family also telling me tonight that they are waiting on detectives for more information on this case. No arrest though they say have been made. Also of note, Ayana was 19 at the time of her shooting death. She were she turned 20, we should say, 2 days after Christmas. So to remember her, the family did gather and told old stories. I'm also told no funeral has been set yet for the baby. Lyman Arlington, Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side.